Hey guys, this is Max Snapper 99 today. I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a spring, uh, spring uh, trap, spring snare. And uh, this is not my video, this is not my trap. I've seen this on YouTube, but uh, I'm thankful for the guy that gave me the idea of this. But his wasn't working for me, he didn't tell me. One measly step, and it might not work for you. So, okay, so uh, you're going to need a sapling. You know, if you're in the cold weather, you're going to need hard bark. You know, one that, that bends easy. And uh, some bait. Chicken feet will work nice with squirrels. Uh, one of these little sticks. Trigger stick. And this has to be closer to your trigger stick. Uh, it has to be uh, shorter than your trigger stick. Like, say this is five, uh, five inches, I have to put it up about four or three inches. Okay. And you need to Hold on, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the thing and show you guys what happens when an animal bites the bait on the trigger stick or below it. It has to get to the. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Ahem. Ah, I'm trying to get the slip knot off. Okay. Show you guys how to set it. Alright, you just stick like this, about a foot down from the sapling. Take it, pull it down, bring it under this stick right here, pull it around, lean it forward. Whichever side, doesn't matter. Make sure your string's all the way, push up against this, right here, this little stick. Then, push the other side up against this stick right here. And just leave tension. Just make sure you don't hit yourself in the face doing this. Alright. Now, you need a knot. Okay, you need a knot. Take one end. Pull it through here. Okay. And if you have to tie it together, then don't, you know, don't pull it past that. And if you have any extra after you put the snare down, just pull it right through the bottom. And, and there's what goes. I had to back up. Oh well, it missed it, but with a squirrel, it wouldn't jump like that when I threw it down. So yeah, that's a pretty nice snare. I'm thankful for the guy that gave me the idea. Thanks a lot. And well, well, I thank you. And well, the, uh, what he didn't tell me was that that little stick that's a foot down from the sap one had to stay in the air, and that trigger stick had to stay in there too. So thank you. Uh, and well. I guess I'll see you next time. I'll do another video of another snare or making a box trap next time, so I'll see ya.